Hello, good morning everybody. My name is Vishwadeep and I welcome you all on Unacademy's Computer Science channel for unlimited learning. In today's lecture, I am going to discuss about linked list. This is the second part of the linked list. In this particular special session, I am going to talk about insertion, deletion and searching in the linked list. So without getting delayed, let's get started. I want to introduce myself first before I go Further, for those members who are new here, who don't know about me, my name is Vishwadeep, written the gate in computer science multiple times and this is my final year rank. This particular rank I have scored in the 2010, before that in third year also 682, after that 119, 440, there are a few more ranks I am having under my belt. I went for my masters to IIC Bangalore, apart from that I have done another MTEC from Bits Pillani in data science to learn the trending technology. All G's, a rich experience of 13 years overall, 9 years only in gate in EAC. Total, these are the subjects I am teaching here on Unacademy's platform, COA, data structure, coding interview preparation. We have brought lots of things for you as a free education on this particular platform, on the same channel and on Unacademy's platform. So if you want to learn free, you can go to an academy's platform and you can follow my profile. You will be getting what? You will be getting all the special classes. If you want my special classes in the organized way, ki all the MSQ sessions, single particular table and links are available. If you want all those things, then you can go to this notion page. This is the notion page where I have kept all the links of all my special classes which are for free. Go to this particular URL, you'll be able to access the links of each and every special class with more organized manner. Go and learn. Apart from that, we have started a new test series. This particular test series for free. You can go and yes, you can you can learn lots of things because of this test series just because we have covered lots of good practi practical or uh, good gate level questions in this particular test series all the courses will be covered in this test series go enroll and write it's absolutely free apart from that if you want to learn computer organization architecture this is the playlist under the same channel go and check it out 52 lectures are there in those 52 lectures you will definitely learn COA for your gate preparation. If you want an Academy Plus subscription, you all know what are the benefits, but still I will cover very, very quickly what are the benefits to come on an Academy Plus. You will be having a closed environment preparation. You will be having structured schedule. You will be knowing th that a particular course starts from when, when it will be finished, what date, what topic will be completed, Every single thing will be structured. So many practice questions you'll be getting, so many test papers and lots, lots, lots other benefit you can get on the Unacademy Plus. And that Unacademy Plus ka subscription price is going to increase from tomorrow. Yes, today is the last date. If you want, you use the code VD10 or subscription Lelo. I have brought you a particular hike prices also look at these prices right now and after the increment just check it out just check it out this particular increase increased price of 24 months is 44,000 right now it is just 30,000 next time onwards from tomorrow onwards it will be 44,000 it's not visible just because of my myself but i'm saying it's 44000 after 10 percent discount it will be 39600 right now after the discount it is 27000 previously we were not having 18 month subscription but that 18 month subscription also coming after the discount also too much even in that much even in that much you can purchase you can purchase 12 month subscription 24 month subscription and you can save still some 7000 rupees after the discount so go and take the subscription today itself this is the last day from 20th october which is tomorrow the prices of an academy plus subscription going to increase and that will be effective from 20th october just look at this particular table you will be able to understand so just think of this if you still are in the dilemma that sir we should take the subscription or not you can talk you can discuss you can discuss with us that sir will this be a good decision or that be a good decision talk to me 
and then you can go ahead with whatever you have decided i will help you in your decision so that your decision can be more strong on your perspective but remember this code vdeep10 is the code you need to use this particular code to get the subscription done otherwise you will not get 10% discount if you use the code you will get 10% discount of course apart from that you will get my support my mentorship my teams ka support and every single other benefit you will be getting if you are the person who needs an extra coach the coach who can assess your test series who can assess your regular day to day activity who can understand okay this is the problem you are having in your learning methods let's let's rectify these problems with like that way if you are not able to do all these things by yourself then our personal coach our personal coach means the coach which an academy will provide you that fellow will do it for you if you want to go for this particular personal coach facility that comes under iconic subscription that iconic subscription includes all the facility of an academy plus plus extra personal coach and study planner and expert guidance facility and this particular facility you will be able to get in the iconic subscription that iconic subscription also you can get in discounted mode which you need to use the code vdeep10 vdeep10 yaad rakhna mera naam hai vishwadeep vishwadeep ka vdeep10 ye code bahut important hai boss ye code aapke liye aapki preparation mein aur bhi kuch darwaze khol sakta hai fine so if you are fine with this last time you just check it out you can take a snapshot of this particular page just because the prices will be little on higher side you will have to pay a lot if you are going to take an academy plus subscription so that i am telling you aaj lo aur जल्दी से जितना आपको टाइम बच रहा है उससे थोड़ा ज्यादा ले लो नो प्रॉब्लम एट ऑल जस्ट बिकॉज यूल टू पे मोर इफ यूल बी टेकिंग दैट मच अमाउंट ऑफ सब्सक्रिप्शन ओनली नेक्स्ट टाइम और नेक्स्ट डे ऑनवर्ड टूमोरो ऑनवर्ड चलिए सो इफ यू आर रेडी फॉर लर्निंग कैन यू प्लीज कैन यू प्लीज से आर यू रेडी और नॉट इफ यू आर रेडी clearly you need to write down in the comment box you are ready i am happy you are happy let's get start the day the week in the happy learning mode so if you are ready type down in the comment box i want the comment before i start so in the last class which we have discussed about linked list what is the linked list and how linked list is updated links and links updation and so many things we have seen then i have covered the traversing and then based on traversing we have seen the counting and number of number of nodes are there how many finding the address of the last node and then i have explained you one specific type of error you can have is null pointer dereferencing All these things we have already covered in the first lecture of linked list. आज हम बात करेंगे second lecture की ready, ready, ready. If you are ready, can you please share the link of this particular lecture with all of your friends who are not yet here so that they also can join us live? Okay. Now what we are going to see today is insertion in the linked list. So what is the difference between array and linked list? I have already explained. you but today again i am going to explain you ki what is the difference between array and linked list when you define an array you need to first provide maximum size suppose 100 if suppose currently in the array you have just 60 elements 40 spaces are free yes not utilized yes but if you want to insert an array or insert an element in the array You don't have to create another memory space. आपको अलग से और memory allocate करने की जरूरत नहीं पड़ेगी Why? Just because you already have empty space, you can insert. In that particular case, I have already explained you कि क्या क्या problem array में आ सकता है Now, in the linked list, that is the advantage. That is the beauty of linked list that whenever we require whenever i require at that time only i create a new node dynamically dynamically means using the dynamic memory allocation using the dynamic memory allocation so what exactly i am going to do in the insertion before insertion we need to create a node so in the insertion in the linked list what we do is create a new node using what using what 
using dynamic memory allocation using dynamic memory allocation and after that second point is what insert the new node based on the requirement wherever you want you can insert the new node and look at this why the insertion in the linked list can be done on dynamic time why creating a new node can be done on dynamic time just because it is not necessary it is not necessary that i should keep all the nodes in the memory sequentially memory mein sari nodes sequential address pe store ho aisa compulsion nahi hai that is why linked list is different than array array mein compulsion hai it is compulsion in the array all the elements should be stored on consecutive location in the linked list no any compulsion so you can keep the elements you can keep the nodes of the linked list on various locations using the pointer you can jump to any node yes you know all you all know that right let's go further and let's try to understand ki how a new node is created so we will create a new node using a c language function like malloc function right so using the malloc function you are going to create a new node suppose this is the malloc function in the malloc function in the input what you need to provide is the size what size of memory you are allocating you need to you need to provide in this malloc function memory allocation function it is a function in the c language which can create a memory dynamically for you in this dynamically created memory will be will be created dynamic time at run time but of what size you need to provide in the bracket kis size ka chahiye node size ka what type what size what size memory you need node size memory you need so i am providing in the input this ki the size of created memory is using a size of function i am using and in the bracket i am writing struct node so node size memory i want to allocate in the memory now once this memory will be created this memory will create or this malloc function will create a new node size memory for you and that particular new, new node size memory i will have to keep in a variable no i will not keep it into a variable i will keep it into a pointer why it is so aisa kyun just because i access my entire list using the pointers only so i will keep the returned returned what returned memory into a pointer so i will create a pointer into the left side node star n n is the pointer name for new node now the thing is this particular created memory is the size of node but the type of node is not known ye jo memory create karega na this memory is of size node suppose 2 byte 4 byte 8 byte whatever but the type of the node you need to provide aapko yahan pe type provide karna padega ye jo memory allocate hoti hai uska so i need to go for explicit type casting and what type of type casting i'll have to do node type of pointer i'll have to create it into the node will be created and the memory created for this particular node is of type what pointer type of struct node clear hai itna if you are clear about this then i want to give you one more information here assume karo ki this particular malloc function has created a new node and its address is into n so if address of a node is there into n means well and good but might possible might possible just because of the allocated memory is full allocated memory is full means the malloc function malloc function could not create a new memory could not create a new memory for the node if that happens then what will be there in n pointer agar malloc function ne new node kar, create karte time pe create nahi kar paya node create nahi kar paya why just because memory is full then what will be the value inside n fun n variable n pointer value will be aapko pata hai null so here i am going to check here i am going to check a small thing if 
n is equal to equal to null means I can say memory full. Memory is full. There is no any memory space available. That's why mlloc function could not create any event. Remember this point, Revabu. Chota sa point hai, but yaad rakh lijiyega. If mlloc function is returning null, means there is no any memory re remaining, so that mlloc function could not allocate memory for you. Good, good, Nikhil. Nice, amazing, amazing, Harsha. Great. Now. If you understood how to create a node, then let's go and try to insert a node at specific different different places. What are the different different places we are having? Look at this. Question, what are the places where we can insert? Here, is the, here are the three places. Insertion in the linked list, we are going to have at three places at starting, after a given node and at the end. One by one, I will explain. First of all, at the beginning. At beginning means, suppose this is the linked list. This is the linked list. In this linked list, I want to insert a new node at starting here. For this insertion at beginning, what I will provide? What I will provide in the algorithm? So in the insertion algorithm, what I will provide you is these things. First of all, of course, I will provide you list pointer. In this case, I have taken a start name as the list pointer. First node's address is in the list pointer start. Then I will provide you an element. What element you need to insert in the new node. Okay, now you need to insert at beginning what you will do. Remember, I am going to tell you, I am going to tell you for insertion a proper sequence in which you are going to update the fields. In this particular sequence, if you will update the fields, you will never have any problem in the insertion because of some override or because of some loss of data or something. Okay, sir, I have updated it. Now, this is not enough. This particular node I could not access. So, any kind of error you can save if you use this particular sequence. First point, what you need to do is, first you need to update all fields of new node whatever the new node you want to insert first of all of new node you update all the fields second point after that you need to update links of existing list jo aapki purani list thi Uski links ko update karna hoga and at the end the third point is update the list pointers. List pointer means if your first pointer, last pointer, any pointer you need to update then at the end you need to update those. Ye chota sa sequence hai, yaad rakh lijega, you will never have any kind of confusion ki pehli ye update kare ki ye kare. First I should do this one or that one you will be able to understand. Okay. Now insertion at the starting what i do or what i prefer in the link list for any kind of operation is first in my mind in the graphical representation i first understand ki what what changes i'll have to do and after that based on this sequence i update i write the programmatical statement so first of all, as I told you, ki you need to update all the fields of the new node. Okay, so new node may two fields are there. First one is data part and the second one is link part. Right, so I have already created a new node here using the same mlloc function which I have already explained you this one and in the end pointer you have the new node ka address. Now data part, this I will have to update by element. element right element is copied here now all the links and remaining things i'll update later first let's try to understand first try to understand through graphical representation ki what i'll have to change mujhe changes kya kya karne hain dekh lete hain changes kya kya karne hain n ka link should be updated by this start why 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 just because if i am inserting the new node at first this becomes the second node and this becomes the first node yes so it's next should be the current first node that current first node should become the second node 
So n ka next I'll have to update by this one. Now what I'll have to do is I'll have to update this start pointer by new node so that first node is this, second node is this and currently linked list will be like this. So what are the changes I'll have to do? n ka link is equal to this one. It was start pointer. And then at the end, I'll have to update start pointer by what? The list pointer I'll have to update by address of new node n. This is the simple algorithm for insertion at the beginning. And you can see whether you have one lakh elements or one element or two element or 15 elements, this particular insertion algorithm will have only three statements, means the complexity of this algorithm will be much. Complexity of this particular algorithm will be what? Kitana hoinga? Kitana hoinga? Constant, constant, constant. Constant. Okay, okay, clear. Is that clear? Is that clear? Now I want to ask a simple question to you. Can you check it if this particular list or this particular algorithm, this algorithm of just three statements will be able to insert, will be able to insert a new node in the empty list or not if you have a list of zero elements empty list will these three statements will this algorithm be able to insert our new node in the empty list or not check it out you also i will also do it if somebody asks such questions na hawa mein baatein nahi karne ka you don't talk rubbish at all nahi sir kar lega sir nahi karega okay aise directly baat nahi karne ka you are a person who are going to be in iit or iisc bangalore and you need to learn very simple thing is always be logical okay in the technical fields at least always be logical so how you can be logical try it out na karke dekho ek bar to samajh mein aayega let's do it let's do it let's do it okay so if you have if you have empty list i have already explained you empty list means start pointer points to null the list pointer points to null okay now if start pointer points to null this is your new node n fine what statement it says the first one n ka data is equal to element so here, here is the element fine second thing n ka link is equal to start start is currently holding null so here i'll be copying null and start is equal to n so instead of null now start will hold the address of this one got it yes inserted yes so you can write down a small statement in your note ki this particular this particular algorithm can insert can insert a new node when even your linked list is empty jab aapka linked list empty hai tab bhi yes it can work okay you can do it and then try it it takes hardly 20 seconds if you are fine with such kind of statements understanding it will take hardly 20 seconds 30 seconds and then you are done okay sir logically minute karke dekha answer yes Fine. Okay. Now next thing is after a given node. Look at this. So many questions are going to be asked from this one. What I am giving you is the insertion algorithm. In the insertion algorithm, look at this. I have given you a start pointer. I have given you a, another pointer LOC and I have given you element. Now what is this LOC here? LOC is address of a node in linked list. So in the linked list, I have given you already an address and that address belongs to some node in the list. Suppose this particular node's address I have already given you. Sir, wo address kahan se mila? I don't know. You have run some kind of algorithm, you have run some kind of loop, you had some kind of function, whatever you did, somehow you found that LOC is present. This is the LOC. LOC is a pointer location. Okay, it is actually denoting the address. It is just describing the address of this current node. Now, my my problem is reduced to this one. Ki LOC is the address given to a node. I'll have to insert the new node here. 
आई हैव टू इंसर्ट अ न्यू नोड हियर आफ्टर द गिवन नोड इस नोड के बाद मुझे नई नोड इंसर्ट करनी है इफ यू रिमेंबर माई सीक्वेंस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू नीड टू अपडेट न्यू नोड बोथ द फील्स डेटा एंड लिंक सो डेटा ऑफकोर्स इट विल बी अपडेटेड बाई एलिमेंट आफ्टर दैट Let's check it out. What changes I'll have to make if I want to insert the new node here after a given node? If I am inserting after this node new node, then this new node will be second after this this one next to this this, and new node ka next will be what this node. Okay, so if I want to change this particular thing, the new nodes next should be this particular node. can i access this particular node yes from where pointer loc how loc ka link loc is next is this particular node so in the link part of n what should i copy loc is link part so that this particular link can be established now what i'll have to do loc ka next should be what this node or new node new node after this loc this new node should come so i'll have to break this particular link by doing what updating loc ka link by address of new node n so what i'll have to do is loc ka link is equal to n if you can visualize this scenario either by writing or in your mind directly then you can write such kind of algorithm easily bahut aasani se wo algorithm aapko aa jayegi okay okay clear now look at this what is the complexity of this particular algorithm this particular algorithm when loc is given already in the in the algorithm then the complexity of this particular algorithm will be equal to what constant why just because only three statements you are running and those three statements are irrespective of the number of nodes in the list number of nodes in the list theek hai clear hai if this is clear type down in the comment box clear so that i can go with the next one it is at the end insertion at the end at the end means here at the end means here so whatever the new node i am having the new node should be updated like that way new node ka data is equal to element new node ka link we will have to make null why just because this new node becomes my last node now so its next should be null now what other change i'll have to make is this is no longer my last node this is my last node so this node should point as its next to n but i can update this by element i can update this by null but can i update this particular nodes link part equal to n directly no why just because i don't know the address of this one mujhe iska address nahi pata so if if suppose suppose wait 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 suppose for insertion at the end i have given you two things one is the start point another one is the element you can write two statements easily what the statements first statement is new ka data is equal to element and the second thing is new ka link is equal to null now what i'll have to do is i'll have to update this particular nodes next or link part by address of new node but i cannot do it main nahi kar sakta directly yes we need to do this particular thing we need to do this particular thing that if if i want to find out address of this particular node then i will have to have a traversing directly i don't know address of this node yes i'll have to have a traversing starting from first node and i'll have to stop the pointer to the last node so that so that i can reach to this node and i will be able to hold the address of this node in some pointer and then i can update its link part by n so what i'll have to do is i'll have to have a traversing 
But before the traversing, suppose if I don't have any list at all. If I don't have any list at all, means the start pointer is null, then can I find the address of last node? No. In that case, I am handling a particular scenario. That scenario is my boundary condition. If suppose start is equal to equal to null, means you have empty list. Empty list ke end mein aapko node insert karna hai. If start is equal to equal to null, then what I am going to check out or what I am going to change is I am going to, I am going to have start is equal to my new node. So this one will become my first node and last node also. Yes. And then after that return, finish. My algorithm is done. But if this particular condition is not true. What I'll have to do is I'll have to start my pointer P from my first node and I'll have to traverse the entire list till P points to last node. How can I, how can I assure key P points to the last node? I'll have to go. Why? P ka link is true. Keep going, keep going and keep going. Increase P by P ka link so that P stops at the end to the last node. And then what we are going to have is we are going to update P ka link at the end by what address is node ka address. Done. And then you can have a return here. If you want, don't write it. Doesn't matter. Now the thing is if 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 you have n number of nodes then you will have to traverse the list to find the address of the last node to reach to to reach to the last nodes address and to update last nodes current last nodes link pointer to p and for that the complexity of this particular algorithm becomes theta of n becomes theta of n now suddenly suddenly i have been asked ki you need to delete you need to delete the or you need to insert you need to insert a new node at the end but you know the address of the current last node if i am telling you one thing ki you need to insert a new node at the end yaha pe but you have the address of the current last node can you do it in the constant time then yes agar mujhe last node ka address pata hoga to fir main aaram se insertion kar dunga this while loop i have written only in that particular case just because i was not knowing the address of the last node na sir mujhe last node ka address nahi pata tha because of that only leave we have taken that traversing if in the in if the if in the insertion algorithm it has been written that you have start pointer you have element you have the address of the current last node also you don't have to traverse aapko traversing karne ki zarurat nahi hogi got it if you got it let's go for the next thing which is deletion so in the deletion we will be having same three if you want to delete the first node if you want to delete the last node or if you want to delete a given node we will see how we can do this particular thing one by one i will give you some more insights also some good story also and some funny stories are also coming on the way so stay tuned look at this if i am going to delete the very first node agar ye node delete Karna hai. If I want to delete this particular node, what I'll have to do is I'll have to change this start pointer by address of the second node. That's it. That's it. And the first node is deleted from the link list. You can check it out. Right? I don't have, I no more have access on this list or this node. Start pointer points to this and then list goes till the end. So what I'll have to do is only one thing I'll have to do in my algorithm is start pointer. I'll have to update by second node means start ka link. But this is not a good valid way. You know why? Just because this node will be still allocated in the memory. Is node ka memory allocated rahega sahi nahi hai. What you can do is before deletion, you take this node's address in some pointer. So let's see. I have taken address of this node into P pointer. And then after that, once the deletion is done, then I can do this. 
I will free P. Free P means the allocated memory of P will be freed so that those two, three, four bytes, whatever the allocated to that node, that will be removed from the memory, deallocated from the memory. It is like a memory management kind of work, garbage collection. Okay, now if you understood, this is very simple algorithm. Only, only three statements in this algorithm. This algorithm, what will be the complexity? Ab bohot smart ho gaye ho ab to yar. Jaldi se bata do. You are very very smart. Complexity is constant. To delete the first node, complexity is constant. Chal. So another thing is deletion. Okay, not after a given node, of a given node. Of a given node. Of a given node. Means, means, suppose, suppose there is a pointer LOC given to this node and I'll have to delete this particular node. I will have to delete this particular node. I'll have to delete this particular node. This particular node. Yes, yes, there is a smart small point somebody has told Ki, sir, we need to check for empty list. Of course, we need to check empty list. If we are deleting, we need to check here if start is equal to equal to null. For every deletion, you need to check it. If start is equal to equal to null, return. Why? Just because, just because there is no any list at all. There is no any list at all. List is empty. You need, you cannot delete this particular case. You know as underflow. Aapko underflow hota hai. Right? 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 Okay, fine. Here also you can check out the underflow. Let's focus on the main logic. What I want to do is I want to delete this particular node. Pointed by a pointer LOC. Given node means LOC is a pointer given in your algorithm. That node pointed by that pointer should be deleted. What changes I'll have to make? Kya change karna padega? Next of this particular node should be next of LOC. That's the only change I'll have to make. But do I know the address of this particular node? No. Can I get it from LOC directly? No. In that particular case, ab kya karenge? Ab kya karenge? We need to have, we need to have address of this node so that this pointer I can update and I cannot directly get it from LOC or some other source. So what I'll have to do is I will have to start a pointer P from here and I'll need, I will need a traversing from first to second to third to fourth, fifth node wherever P reaches. Whenever P reaches to that node, when its next is LOC. So if I am assuming that LOC is some intermediate node, it's not the first node itself. Suppose this is the first node which I want to delete. LOC is pointing to first node only. I am writing it here. If LOC is equal to equal to start. Agar mujhe first node hi delete karna hai, what I'll have to do is I'll have to just change start is equal to start ka link. If LOC is not pointing to my first node, but it is pointing to some intermediate node, what I'll have to do is I'll have to start a pointer P. Okay, so after this, you need to, after this, you need to stop your, stop your program or your algorithm and return from the algorithm. That's it, done. Deletion done. But if LOC is intermediate node, what I'll have to do is I'll have to start my pointer P from first node and I'll have to traverse. So what is the while condition? While condition should be P ka link. Next of P is not equals to LOC till that point. You go on, go on, go on to the next node, next node, next node. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep updating P to next, 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 next till P reaches to that node whose link part is LOC or whose next is LOC. When we have reached here, P is now on the predecessor of LOC. It is called as predecessor of LOC, previous node of LOC. And now I can write down ki P ka link I'll have to update by what? This node's address which is LOC ka link. Got it? Once this link broken, this particular link established, LOC is removed from the list. At the end, you can free LOC. Here also, if you want, you can write free LOC. 
एंड वॉट विल बी द कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी ऑफ दिस एल्गोरिदम अब ये कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी तो सर कन्फर्म्ड नहीं है Why not confirm? Sir, LOC can be second node, LOC can be third node, LOC can be fourth node, LOC can be last node also. If LOC is the last node, in that case, I need to have entire traversing of the list. If LOC is some intermediate node, then I'll have to traverse this P pointer up to middle of the list. So complexity of the algorithm will be Pico of n. Ki maximum n times, maximum n times this traversing can be required. Not more than that, but less than that is possible. Thoda usse kam hoga to chalega. So big of n will be the complexity of this algorithm just because of this loop. This loop may run maximum n times, may run less than n times also. Kya aapko itna samaj mein aa raha hai? If you guys are understanding that much. See here. there is a really really beautiful question comes into the picture and that question comes or that question has been asked in multiple interviews yes my friend so many interviews so i am i am adding another page for your knowledge itself ek interview ka question aata hai yahan pe ki delete a given node without using any other point means whatever the given pointers you have start pointer and loc pointer apart from that you cannot use any other point you cannot use any other pointer you cannot use p you cannot use any other pointer and you need to delete this given node you need to delete this particular given node how do you do that this is very very interesting question of the linked list which has been asked in multiple interviews in fact it has been asked to me also in one of the interviews when i was trying to switch my job from my first job and this this particular question has been asked in an interview in audience communication i was able to answer it just because i knew how to do that if you can understand basic things of course you also can do it abhi yahi ek funny story hai jo main aapko sunane ja raha hu bada maza aayega suniye zara so deletion of a given node without using any other pointer there is no any valid way there is no any valid way you need to go through invalid operations what are the two invalid operations i'll tell you those two invalid operations those two invalid operations are like thinking like a bollywood villain or thinking like a bollywood police person ye kya bol rahe hain sir agar aap picture dekhte hain bollywood ki ya any indian movie so in the indian movie some little bit older movies jahan pe conceptual movies nahi banti thi utni zyada concept based movies ya topic based subject based movies nahi banti thi wahan pe aap socho imagine karo ki you are like you are thinking like a villain or you are thinking like a police person what exactly i am trying to say i will explain you don't worry dear ye dekhiye maine kya kaha aapse i am saying this ki this is the list start is pointing to some node this is pointing to another node this is pointing to another node this is pointing to another node and null and this is your loc or let's say this is your loc you need to delete this particular node suppose you are a villain you are a villain aapko bada maza aayega destructive soch to kisi bhi engineer ki hoti hi hoti hai uh, just for the funny side i am just saying okay don't worry you are a really good good and beautiful mind person and you are very logical person i know that but just for a uh, fun let's assume that you are the villain of a movie and you have taken a contract killing job Yes, you have taken a job of killing a person, and person is which one? This one. So somebody told you to kill this person. आपको किसी ने बोला कि एक को मारना है, 
आपको उसको मारना है बस इतना बोला है आपको ये थोड़ी बोला है कि और दूसरे नहीं मरने चाहिए यू हैव बीन आस्ट टू किल अ पर्सन इन द मूवी आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट बट द पर्सन द कॉन्ट्रैक्टर हैज नॉट गिवन यू द पर्सन हु हैज गिवन यू द कॉन्ट्रैक्ट दैट पर्टिकुलर पर्सन हैज नॉट टोल्ड यू कि यू विल नॉट हैव टू किल अदर फेलोज यू कैन किल यस आई कैन किल सम अदर फेलोज ऑल्सो ठीक है मैं मार दूंगा मैंने क्या किया आई विल किल दिस फेलो एंड आई विल किल ऑल दीज प्रीवियस फेलोज ऑल्सो just because i cannot use any other pointer i cannot find the predecessor of loc what i will do is i will change this start pointer by directly loc is connected direct directly all these previous nodes will be deleted and i will be having only this particular remaining list kuch hi log bachenge meri zindagi mein meri duniya mein so what i am doing is i am changing the start pointer by loc ka next or loc ka link and my work is done my work is done look at this i have deleted i have deleted the node which you have been asking me to delete which you have asked me to delete i have deleted but uski wajah se aur bhi delete hogi na ha hogi that was one invalid way to delete without using a pointer another way is to think like a police person पुलिस पर्सन को बोला गया कि राजू को पकड़ के लाओ राज को पकड़ के लाए और बोला सर यही राजू है इट हैज हैपेंड इन द मूवीज मल्टीपल टाइम्स राइट आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट ओनली इन मूवीज राइट 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 सो व्हाट एग्जैक्टली व्हाट एग्जैक्टली दिस सॉल्यूशन इज व्हाट एग्जैक्टली दिस सोल्यूशन इज लेट मी एक्सप्लेन लेट मी एक्सप्लेन सी टी एंड ई suppose this is the list right now you are have and this is the loc pointing to so what should i delete is this node if after deletion if after deletion if this node is deleted then what are the data elements i should have a the next b in next d the next e a b d e this should be there humme agar ye node nahi delete ho rahi why just because i cannot use another pointer i cannot reach to the predecessor it's okay what i will do i will copy this data item d here on this node instead of instead of c i will keep the data item d here and i will delete this node next node delete kar di is node ko bola tha is node ko delete kar diya why just because i have exchanged i have exchanged the data item i have exchanged the data item maine data item exchange karke aur ye node delete kar another invalid way it's not a valid way okay it's invalid way but still possible result in this particular case you will not use you will not lose any other data item okay so this is another way i am writing the code for this what exactly i am doing is first of all i am updating loc's data loc's data i am updating by loc ke next ka data loc's link data i am updating now next is what if i have updated it if i have updated the data what i can do is i can delete this particular node yes how do i delete it loc ka link i'll have to update by link ka link loc's link ka link this way you can delete constant type operation yes but you know there is a problem in this also there is a problem in this also this solution works only if loc is not pointing to last node if loc is at the last node then uh, you will not be able to apply this particular solution aapko ye solution kaam nahi karega if loc is the if loc is the last node fine if you are clear let's do and let's try to understand few more things so this was an interview question it was for your knowledge purpose i have given you i don't know aap logo ko kitna pasand aaya hai this particular solution agar aap chahe to aapke knowledge ke liye likh deta hu ki this particular solution is acting like a bollywood villain and this particular solution is looking like a bollywood police
ये बॉलीवुड वर्ल्ड लगाना इसलिए जरूरी है जस्ट बिकॉज इन द रियल वर्ल्ड वी मे हैव सम डिफरेंट सिनारियोज इट्स नॉट लाइक पुलिस पीपल एंड विलन पीपल आर वर्किंग लाइक दैट वे ओनली इन द रियल वर्ल्ड आई डोंट नो अबाउट द रियल वर्ल्ड आई नो ओनली अबाउट द मूवीज चल okay so the thing is okay there is a question i want to take that particular question very interesting why they ask such question they ask such question to understand your innovation your creativity ki if some kind of obs, you know some kind of a awkward situation is given to you some kind of awkward situation is giving to given to you how you will handle those awkward situation aap log wo awkward situation ko kaise handle karenge and that is what needed that is what needed to be just in the interviews interviews are always a dynamic thinking prediction prediction means how dynamically you can think how at run time at the new time when a particular problem is forced at you how you are thinking for a new problem which you have never seen before if you are able to react if you are able to solve that particular problem means you are having a really good mind really good logical and aptitude mind to solve any kind of new problem and hence company can pay you a lot of money if you are able to solve the new problem just because when you will go to the industry in the industry it is the same scenario always that you will be facing so many new problems which you have never ever seen before so how exactly you will react how exactly you will try to find the solution how logical you can think how analytical skills you can apply based on that company will pay you maybe 1 lakh rupees per annum or 1 lakh rupees per month based on your understanding चलिए अगला क्वेश्चन है एट दी एंड आई हैव टू डिलीट द लास्ट नोट दिस वन आई हैव टू डिलीट द लास्ट नोट आई हैव टू डिलीट द लास्ट नोट इफ आई आई हैव टू डिलीट द लास्ट नोट व्हाट चेंजेस आई हैव टू मेक इट सेकंड लास्ट नोट लिंक पॉइंटर आई हैव टू अपडेट बाय नल सेकंड लास्ट नोट लिंक पॉइंटर आई विल हैव टू अपडेट बाय नल ओके सो हियर आई विल हैव हियर आई विल हैव टू हैंडल टू conditions these are the basic conditions or the or the or the base condition first condition is if start pointer is null means there is no any node directly underflow is there hence you can return directly from the list there is no any deletion possible if suppose you have only single node if you have suppose single node and its link is null सिंगल नोड मतलब क्या सिंगल नोड मींस स्टार्ट इज पॉइंटिंग टू सम नोड एंड सम नोड इज हैविंग इट्स लिंक पॉइंटर नल दैट इज द सिंगल नोड प्रेजेंट इफ यू हैव सिंगल नोड प्रेजेंट मींस स्टार्ट का लिंक इज इक्वल टू इक्वल टू नल व्हिच मींस यू हैव ओनली सिंगल नोड इन दैट पर्टिकुलर केस यू नीड टू अपडेट स्टार्ट पॉइंटर बाय नल व्हाई जस्ट बिकॉज़ सिंगल नोड विल बी डिलीटेड लिस्ट बिकम्स एम्प्टी एंड देन रिटर्न खत्म खेल Got it? Got it or not? समझ में आया कि नहीं आया तुमको जल्दी से बता रहे बाबू Okay, next thing. If these two conditions are false, means list not having zero element, one element, more than one element present, then you need to start a pointer P, and you need to stop that pointer P on the second last node. What is the characteristic of second last node? Characteristic is P pointer ka link ka link is equal to null. So I will start a pointer P from start and I will write the loop like this way while P ka link ka link is true till that point. Keep going, keep going, keep updating P by its link, link, link so that. p can reach to the second last node and second last nodes link pointer i'll have to update at the end by null got it okay and what is the complexity of this algorithm a complete traversal is required for finding the second last node address yes and for that complexity will be theta of n abhi dekhiye they will not or they may not ask you a direct question ki complexity to delete the last node 
when the last node second last nodes addresses are not given in that particular case how much complexity is required to delete the last node they will not ask direct question but they may merge the same thing into something else and they may ask the same thing like to in 2018 i guess yes 2018 there was a question ki you are implementing a queue using linked list and based on that insertion deletions are done and in that question such kind of question can be asked or was asked ki insertion at this end deletion at this end now tell me how complexity how much complexity needed i will solve that question in the classroom but mai bata raha hu aapko yaad rakhne ki zarurat nahi hai you need to just visualize okay deletion at the end this is given i'll have to update this 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 complexity will be this if you can imagine it if you can visualize it it will be amazing to understand that yes you are understanding every single thing aapko sab samajh mein aayega aapko sab kuch sab kuch sab kuch samajh mein aayega if you are clear about this deletion at the end and then next thing is application which i am going to cover tomorrow but before that i want to talk about searching in linked list searching in linked list searching in linked list is best when you apply the linear search you go for linear search why just because linked list is linear data structure and the random access random access is not available random access in the area, uh, a random access in the linked list is not available that's why you need to go for linear search so how the linear search works first you check the element to search on the first first particular node if it is present well and good if not present go to the next if present well and good if not then go to the next 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 and traverse till the last right let me quickly write the algorithm for this linear search so search in the linked list you have been given a start pointer and an item to search what you will do is you will first check out if start is equal to null or let's not even check it out let's have p pointer pointing to start and let's have a traversal why while p is true or p not equals to null then you need to check out what you need to check out if p is pointing to some data item that is equal to equal to this item अगर ये आइटम पहली नोट पे मिल गया देन व्हाट यू नीड टू डू इज यू नीड टू रिटर्न दैट एड्रेस ऑफ द नोट पी इफ नॉट देन यू नीड टू अपडेट द पी बाय इट्स लिंक सो दैट वी कैन चेक आउट द एलिमेंट द आइटम ऑन द नेक्स्ट नोट आफ्टर दैट व्हाट वी विल डू वंस दिस वाइल लूप इज फिनिश्ड सपोज ये वाइल लूप पूरा फिनिश हो गया एंड दिस पर्टिकुलर कंडीशन कुड नॉट बी ट्रू एट ऑल दिस कंडीशन वाज फॉल्स एवरी टाइम एवरी टाइम एवरी टाइम मींस डेटा इज नॉट प्रेजेंट इफ डेटा इज नॉट प्रेजेंट लूप इज फिनिश्ड एट द एंड व्हाट यू नीड टू डू इज यू नीड टू रिटर्न नल यू नीड टू रिटर्न व्हाट नल अगर ये कंडीशन ट्रू हो गई इफ दिस कंडीशन इज ट्रू देन व्हाट आई विल रिटर्न इज the address where the element is present the address of the node where element is present if condition will be false every time every time every time this loop will be finished or ended because p reaches to the null in the traversing at the end you can re return null in fact you could have written p also here agar aapne p bhi likha hota to bhi chalta kyun just because p pointer is null p null hoga tabhi to ye loop band hoga and what will be the complexity of this algorithm big o of n why big o of n might possible the element is present on the first node itself might possible element is present on the second node third node fourth node fifth node so algorithm statements maximum n times the loop runs otherwise might possible less than n also number of iterations required in the loop and my list यहाँ पे एक बहुत सिंपल सा इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन आता है ऑफ इंटरव्यू आल्सो मे बी इट कैन बी आस्ड इन द गेट एग्जाम आल्सो कि कैन यू अप्लाई बाइनरी सर्च ऑन लिंक लिस्ट कैन यू अप्लाई बाइनरी सर्च ऑन लिंक लिस्ट योर आंसर शुड बी यस वी कैन अप्लाई यस वी कैन अप्लाई बट इट विल नॉट बी एज एफिशियंट एज इट इज इन एरे एफिशियंट नहीं हो सकता है पर बाइनरी सर्च अप्लाई तो कर ही सकते हैं 
Yes, we can apply binary search, but we cannot have the same efficiency as we are having in the array, which is login. Why? Just because in the linked list directly, you cannot reach to the middle element. Can you do it? Nahi. You will have to traverse half of the elements you will need to traverse to reach to the middle. And that is two time taking. So you can apply binary search, but it is not efficient in the linked list. Yaad rakhe, kuch choti choti puzzle type questions hai, which are very, very important to understand and remember. Fine. So tomorrow we are going to see the applications in the linked list and then we are going to have DPP. DPP. Okay. Um, so let's do one thing. Let's quickly finish this application and DPP we will do tomorrow. Application of linked list is to store the polynomials. Agar aapko polynomials store karna hai, you can use the linked list in the computer system. How? Suppose univariate polynomial you have. Univariate means single variable. So let's say 3x square minus 5x minus 9. This is the univariate polynomial you have. You want to store it. So for every term, look at this. For every term in this polynomial, you will be having one node you'll be having one node and that particular node contains three things. What are the three things? First is the coefficient of the term. Second thing is the exponent of variable x and the link. So how do you represent this particular thx square minus 5x minus 9 in the list? So list pointer points to the first node. First node contains the first term. First term is having coefficient 3 power 2 and link. Next node is having coefficient minus 5, power of x is 1 and then next. Next is having minus 9 as the coefficient, then power is 0 and like this way, one variable polynomial you can store. Similarly, two variable polynomials also you can store. Yes. Abhi sir, ye aisa zaruri kyon hai? Why you are storing polynomials? If you want to write a code to have addition of two polynomials, to have deletion of two polynomials, not deletion, subtraction of two polynomials, yes. Division of two polynomials, yes. Multiplication of a variable or multiplication of x into polynomial, x square into polynomial. Spadhai aapne mathematics mein? Ji haan. So those things you can programmatically calculate if you store the polynomial in the list. Bivariate polynomial means two variables like this way. 3x square y minus 4xy square plus 9xy minus 6. This is two variables. Now if two variables are there, node will become how? Node kaise banao ge aap log? Node is having one coefficient of each term. Then on each term you are having two exponents. One is exponent of x, one is exponent of y and another one is point. Right? So let's quickly have a link list for this one. A list. List is pointing to the first node. First node is having coefficient 3, power of x is 2, power of y is 1 and next. Similarly, coefficient minus 4, power of x is 1, y is 2 and next. Next term, coefficient 9, power of x 1, power of y 1 and next. Last, coefficient minus 6, power of x 0, y 0 and null. Is tarike se you can store the polynomials in the linked list so that you can write the code of multiplication, addition, subtraction, division and other operations on the polynomials. You have already, you have already studied all these. You need to just practice by writing the code if you want to. Fine, tomorrow we are going to have practice problems on the linked list. So whatever the things which we have discussed till now, Based on that, we are going to check out. We are going to check out ki what kind of questions can be asked in the linked list and how we are going to solve some questions which I have created, some gate questions which I should explain you in the classroom training. All those things we will discuss in the tomorrow's session. Before you go, this is the Gate Express batch already going on. Discrete Math 5.30 p.m. COA 7.15. C Language 9 p.m. Attend these classes if you want to cover up entire Gate course very, very quickly in the revision 
mode if you want to take an academy plus subscription take it take it as soon as possible so that so that you will not have to pay a lot of money i have already shown the picture i will show it now also look at this for 24 months previously prices were 30000 now the prices tomorrow onwards 44000 yes 44000 so you need to pay a lot of money for for 24 months subscription if you will go for tomorrow onwards so today itself take the subscription and aapko code jo use karna hai wo hai ye vdeep10 if you use the code vdeep10 you will get 10% discount plus you will be getting some other benefits also remember you can go for emi mode also this emi you can use the credit card or hdfc debit card to take the emi that is no cost emi means you don't have to pay extra amount but but you can pay in the installments for the same amount if you want you can be connected with us on facebook on this particular gate aspirant page you will get all the pdf here on this particular channel of telegram if you are connected with us if you are learning you can understand that we are providing quality education in terms of in terms of your gate preparation placement preparation semester preparation lot you are amazed or you will be amazed to know that this is not the only channel we are having different channel of different streams to give you the same quality in fact even better quality everywhere Creatrix channel for electrical ECIN, gate ME, PI, XE for mechanical, civil, Telugu, SSCJ, computer science. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe this channel, foundation engineering, gate questions, electrical junction. Aapko bahut kuch milega. Just, just tell, inform every single person, single friend of you to log on to these different, different channels to learn for free in terms of quality education i can assure that my channel will provide you always a quality education and we will try hard to make you successful you need to work hard to make us reach to maximum number of students so that we can be a big proud family of an academy fine happy learning everybody keep learning have a nice remaining day if you are writing my free test then 12 pm i am having a special class for special class on an academy which is for free for discussion of test so if you have any doubt query question in the test or previous test or any topic then you can come live 12 pm just within 45 minutes i guess i will be there in that particular class see you bye bye